So on this video, I'm going to show you how to run reports in your QuickBooks online company file. We are logged into Craig's Designer Landscaping Services. And what I do is I get a lot of emails from clients saying, can you please send me financials as of such and such date? And so what I wanted to do was show you how to run the reports yourself to ensure that you can get them um, at your to show you that you can get them at your own disposal and so which is sometimes maybe a little bit quicker than when I can get back to you so first you're gonna log into your QuickBooks file and then on this left icon bar you're gonna go down to reports and then you're gonna click on reports and you're gonna see five different tabs um, the order may vary but the tab order the tabs are recommended frequently run my custom reports management reports and all reports so recommended are going to be the six reports that are most often run by business owners everywhere. So those are going to show up first. Frequently run reports are going to be the reports that you run most often and have ran within the last week, day, day, week, or month. My custom reports are going to be reports that you've run and you've customized them and saved that customization so that when you run it in the future, you no longer have to refilter it to be the way that you want it to be. Management reports are um, a set of reports that are report packages that QuickBooks has put inside of your QuickBooks file that typically I send to you um, when you need them or your accountant may send to you when you need them. And so um, these are kind of canned packages with the profit and loss, the balance sheet, a cash flow, um, and some other reports that you may or may not need. They may have a table of contents and a customized um, um, cover page that also has your logo and some colors and etc. So that's what management reports are. And then all reports gives you access to all the reports that are available to you within the QuickBooks online file. And so they're broken down by the different categories based on the type of reports you want. So if you wanted to see sales by customers, then you would click on review sales and then you have different re reports that you can run to see those reports. Each report um, has in front of it a little image and if you hover over that image you will see a quick glance of what that report runs like looks like so you don't have to run it before you know what it'll look like so make sure that it's the report that you want um, as an example if you wanted to see reports around the accounts payable then you would click on manage payables where you can see um, AP aging vendor balance details vendor balance summary or even a report of unpaid bills to date by simply clicking on those reports so we're gonna go back to recommend it and I'm gonna run a profit and loss report for you for the current quarter and so again you're gonna log into your QuickBooks file you're gonna go over to the left icon bar and click on reports and then once you get to the screen you're gonna select recommend it and then we're gonna click on profit and loss now, depending on um, your QuickBooks company file, you know QuickBooks comes out with updates rather frequently. Um, they come out with new updates um, often and then sometimes you know, they have to roll them out because of the number of people who use the software. So if you log in your file, once you click on reports, your profit and loss may look like this. This is kind of the older version um, and it could be just this sample company needs to be updated. but this it may look like this um, and so what you can do is you'll see a message just says try our new redesigned profit and loss report and so if you click on the hyperlink in that you'll get the updated version and then once you've done it once it'll kind of save and stick for you so no need to worry about that so this is how your profit and loss will look it will automatically default to either year to date or month to date depending on the settings within your company file and so what you want to do to change that period is to up here under report period we're going to click on the drop down option and I'm going to select this quarter and so as you notice the dates next to it will change based on what I set in here you can also type these dates in um, directly if you want and if you want a period that's not in this drop down menu you can type them in automatically there are some other customized filters here but we're going to not do that for this video um, but I'm going to select this quarter and then we're going to hit run report. So whenever you update or change any of these filters at the top, you need to be sure that you select run report so that it can refresh the report. And so if you notice now, the date of this report now says April through June instead of January through June.
And so this is the report for April through June for Craig's Lance Design and Landscaping Services. From here, you can click on this little envelope and email it to yourself. You can click on the little printer icon and print out a copy if you'd like. And you can also select this little paper with the arrow, which will allow you to download it either to Excel or a PDF version. Typically, you will probably want to export it to a PDF, um, unless you're doing some kind of analytics and you need to maneuver some of the columns, etc. Then you would download it to Excel. So that is how you run your reports in QuickBooks Online. I hope this tip has helped. And if so, feel free to leave a comment and let us know. Take care.